By estimate, more than a half of Ugandan youth are unemployed, underemployed or inactive and this poses a serious challenge to social stability and economic growth of the country. This being a national concern, some organizations have partnered with the government to eliminate the problem. Haifa International is implementing East Africa Youth Inclusion Program which has benefited over 12,000 youth in six districts of Uganda in a period of three years. Uh, the youth that we are working with, we are equipping them with skills uh, in uh, agribusiness, in vocational, vocational skills, but also giving them soft skills. With this program, young women and men acquire the skills and networks they need to find sustainable employment and entrepreneurship opportunities in dairy and related sectors. We have uh, trained a total of 543 youth in vocational, different vocational trades that enable them to add value to their agricultural enterprises. Boniface Babinga is among those who benefited in HAFA projects since 1987 and is acting as a role model while training youth, especially in dairy farming. I come to know what is going on through seeing that I'm, I'm, I'm okay. And, and you can see the, 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 the carpentry place there. I, I gave those boys there so that I can gather other people. To continue with their capping. In the period of three years of this project, many Ugandan youth have acquired training of different kinds and have been able to start up small scale businesses to the extent of employing others. Training of uh, institution or, or vocational trainings. I've gone there for trainings like uh, mechanics. Right. Then, after those two weeks, we put slits on these, on these gardens. Then after a period of three to two days, we see mushrooms sprouting out. After getting the meat from the cows, I do value addition in, on this product. The East Africa Youth Inclusion Program aims at improving the livelihoods of 25,000 economically disadvantaged young men and women aged between 15 and 24 years in Uganda and Tanzania by creating jobs and entrepreneurship opportunities. This story was compiled by Abdul Nasir Obama for UBC News. <laughs>